Hey, Desmondu here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to learn how to make this creepy glitchy type animation. This is a technique I developed from my Donnie Dago title sequence that I did a while back ago. You can check it out on Vimeo to see how I integrate type and footage. And also do check out my process page on my website where I break down the concept, the techniques I use, as well as some type treatment of course. The links will be in the description below. Anyway, let's begin. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to call this Demo. And using my Type 2, Command T, type in Donnie Darko. Let's center it in the middle. And let's rename this text layer to Title. And let's create a new null object. And we're going to call this Control. And we're going to add in a slider control from the Effects and Preset panel. We're going to rename this slider control to C. And we're going to do the same thing for our text layer. We're going to need two of them, so Command D to duplicate it. And we're going to add in a point control. So all these effects will be used to control our text animator. The first one will be our opacity C. And the second one, opacity range. And our third one will be our position. So let's call it pause. Let's go to our text layer, open it up, and go to animate position. And let's rename this animator to Glitch. Option click on the position stopwatch and pick with it to our point control. Let's change the value of our point control to 10, 100. And with our text animator selected, let's go selector wiggly. Let's play back and see what happens. So every, every character is wiggly at a very fast pace. Let's go to open up our wiggly selector and set it to point 1. Let's option click on the random C. And go to our null layer and just pick with it to our slide control over here. So I can get a different variation of this glitch text from my null layer. Next, let's close our wiggly selector, go into our range selector, and set a keyframe for the end from 0 to 100. So let's make this 0, and then let's select both keyframes and put toggle hold keyframe. So it will be at its base and then suddenly it will glitch. And let's close this text animator. Go to animate, opacity, and we're going to set opacity to zero. Open up the range selector. Option click on the end and pick with it to the opacity range slider control. And go to advance and do the same thing. Randomize order, random C to the opacity C here. So now if I increase the opacity range, I can hide some characters and I can also change the seed so I can so, kind of create variants of what I want to hide or review. But for now, let's set it to zero and let's rename this text animator to opacity. Let's close this and we are going to duplicate this text layer, command D, and name it to chow. And let's change the label color to orange and let's open up our text layer. And go to our source tag, option click on the source text for our child layer, and then pick with it to our title source text. So this way, if I were to change, if I were to change the source text of my title to something else, you can see that my child layer also follows. So you notice one thing we forgot to do is that we forgot to change the seed value. Because right now they have the same seed value for the glitching. So we need to go back to our glitch text animator, now our range selector, and no, actually our wiggly selector, and go to our random C and just add in plus index times, let's give a number maybe 67. It could be any number. So the, dress, the seat number is drastically different. And so we will actually also want to reset the, the text animator for the position to zero. So this is the base. Let's also change this back to Donnie Darko as well. All right. And next, we want to create variants of this glitch text. So let's Command D and then drag it down. So for child number two, maybe we can have more variant, uh, more displacement in the X and maybe 200 for the Y. Maybe the X is too much, so let's do 150. And we can maybe just hide some text like that. And we're going to 
Command-T again and do our one last glitch variant. So the last one is going to be a slice. So we're going to name this chow underscore slice. Uh, we're going to set our opacity range to 0. We're going to have all character. Maybe our position displacement is like 30 by 50 pixel, perhaps. And using a rectangle tool, let's mask it. Mask the bottom. Command D. And then press M and just invert the mask. So we have all variants of our text. Now select all text layer. And then just in our light panel, let's align vertically. So everything is stacked like that. And let's select our text layer and go down about 10 frames. Let's trim it down to about 10 frames like that. And we're just going to shift, just stagger it like that. So we're going to have the slice be the final one. So a little bit longer than that. And okay, let's play it. So we're almost there. Now, all you have to do is just play around and reposition stuff and get a little bit creative. For example, you know, this is, this is the base setup. So we can maybe, you know, Command Shift D for this second child layer. And then let's break it apart and we can just maybe rotate it a bit. And we can hide the characters maybe. And let's do the same thing for child layer 2. Let's do it at the back, Command Shift D, and we can maybe even hide even more character and just scale it up. Very big. Should I reduce? Yes, like that. Let's play it and see what happens. And maybe we want to duplicate this again. Let's put it here. So we want just want like a split second where it actually goes back to normal. So let's set this back to zero, everything back to zero, including a scale to 100. Let's play it again. And we're done. And if you can, if you want, you can always just change the control. In the now, in the seat, in the now layer to get like a different look. So the possibility are endless. All right, so we're done. Uh, you can have this After Effects file for free in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe and like for more. Before I end this video, I'd like to share with you an initiative my friend started to raise awareness for mental health. It is called the Feel Better Club. It's a nonprofit dedicated to creating a safe space for creatives like us to improve our mental health. As listed here, the club provides free resources, services, and help you connect to the right people. You can learn more by following the Feel Better Club Instagram. And if you're someone who can help or know someone who could, please email the club. We're all facing troubling times because of the pandemic. I hope you can take a moment to learn how to take care of your mental health and find peace wherever you are. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.